Hello and welcome to another video here on our Midcorp YouTube channel. My name is Dario Patsuna, I'm a marketing specialist at Midcorp and today we are starting a new YouTube series. We call them Unboxing in which we will showcase our products, we will show you what is inside of our trolley cases, how to use the products and what benefits you can get from them. Today we will start with the X2000, one of our most advanced and also award-winning products. And at this point I would like to mention that everything you will see is not only engineered by us but also manufactured by us. We take great pride in that and we are very very happy to share this with you. And now let's get started and see what we have in this trolley case today. Okay, so now that we open the case, the first thing we will notice how rugged it is and also how neatly everything is packed. This makes sure that nothing moves while you travel and that everything stays safe. Then here we can see our X2000 main system, the joystick for the articulation probe. And now you might wonder where is the articulation probe. Actually we have a special compartment underneath here which keeps the articulation probe nice and safe while you travel. Then here we have our charging cable, we have our neck strap, a cleaning kit, here we have our grounding uh, cables, then we have our rigid sleeve which extends the length of your arm and helps you to reach higher or further away places which you normally couldn't reach. Um, then here we have different outlets such as HDMI, a USB-C or even a USB-C uh, charger which helps you to charge the system on the go. And here uh, we have our mirror sets and I will talk more about that later but these are very very handy little devices. And now let's get started and assemble everything and see how it works. Assembling the X2000 is quite easy. All we need to do is screw on the probe, make sure that the red side is facing the front of the X2000 main system and then you can simply push it in, screw it on like so and you're ready to go. All right, so now that we have assembled our X2000, let's get into more details and take a look at the joystick and also the articulation probe itself. So the joystick allows you obviously to move around the probe, right, so no surprise there. But uh, what's interesting is we have a four-way articulation. This means that you can actually move the probe around 360 degrees. Also, depending on the length of the probe, we have over 150 degree articulation angle. So this is very, very useful when you insert it into an engine or something like that. Um, the joystick also allows you to lock the probe in place to adjust the brightness levels and to take photos and videos. Now let's talk about the probe, the material of the probe. So the probe is tungsten braided which offers an uh, IP67 rating which is very good because you have to imagine when you inspect an, a gearbox or a generator or something like this there will be liquids inside, there might be dust inside, there might be water inside, right? So you want to have a protection against that. Also, tungsten is very reliable and very scratch resistant, which is also very useful considering that you insert it into engines and you will bump into things and you will scratch against things, right? And uh, on top of that, we also have a, a heat protection up to 100 degrees. And this is very, very important because 100 degrees is quite a lot, right? And uh, we have a three stage temperature warning in our X2000 system. Uh, which will automatically shut off the probe if the temperature exceeds 100 degrees uh, to prevent it from further being damaged. Also, we can see when we take a look at this, there is no motor attached to this uh, joystick or to the probe. Uh, this is because we have mechanical wiring within the probe which actually bends the probe. This saves energy, this saves weight and also it makes the feedback instantaneous. So as soon as I move the joystick, the probe will move. Now let's talk about the optical system here. It's very very impressive because this is a 6mm probe, we also have a 3.9mm probe, but it offers the entire optical system here in the tip. Uh, we have the lens, the camera system and the illumination. So that means we have our full HD videos and super HD images in this small device here. And now let's put it into this engine block which we chopped in half for you so that you can see it and see what we can do with it. Here we have our console and before we get into the functionalities I would like to mention that this case is also very rugged. It offers military standard protection such as shock or drop resistance which is very very interesting uh, considering where you're going to take it. right? Um, here on the side we have our basic controls so we can take photos, we can take videos, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can also adjust the brightness which you can also do conveniently over the touchscreen via this bar here. 
uh, you have the power switch, you have the gallery as well as the settings. In terms of the advanced image functions, we have a light boost which helps you to illuminate really really dark spaces. You can turn off the light or turn it back on. And also we have an automatic exposure system so that allows you to click on the screen so you know that from your smartphone for example and the camera will automatically adjust as you can see now. Um, you can also mirror the image. Sometimes when you let's say inspect a pipe or something you need to read inside the, the device or inside the object and the mirroring can help you to read it. Uh, when you encounter a scratch or an object you sometimes want to measure it. For that we have a grid uh, function in combination with our uh, pin adapter which you can screw onto your probe which will serve as a reference point for your measurements. Going on, we can see here over on the right top, uh, we can see we have a particle free option and a dual view option. And I will show you what this is about once I screwed on one of our mirror adapters. And uh, then we can showcase how that works. Okay, so here we have the side view mirror and all you really need to do is screw it on, align it with the side illumination and fasten it with this wheel down here. So now that we have the mirror installed, let's put it inside of this box we have prepared here and see what we can do. So now the first thing we need to do is activate the dual view, which will tell us where the front view is, in this case it's on the top, and where the side view is, here on the bottom. That's why we have an F and an S. The second thing we will notice is that there's a very annoying line of particles here in the middle. So to get rid of that, we simply change the light direction and as we can see now, the image is now very clear and you can start working with it. And yeah, let's continue with more of our imaging functions and uh, let's see what we can do. Here we have even more image functions such as adjusting the brightness, the contrast or the sharpness of the image. We also have the negative view which allows you to identify cracks easier, especially on rough surfaces as we can see here below, so it's very very useful. Uh, we can rotate the image um, just in case you need to read something and here, when we go to the settings, we also find our file management system. So we can divide it into sessions. We can tag the images, for example, engine 2. We can decide where to put the tag. We can watermark and timestamp the images. Same thing again. And we can choose the MidCop logo or our own custom logo. Then we can also adjust the white balance, calibrate it, customize it however you need it and we also offer a compare function so once we go to our gallery we can compare the images with the live view as we can see here or if we go back to the gallery we can also add notes to the image for example floor one done and then we can drag it around save it and also compare it. And yeah, so this is basically all we have today about the functions. This was our X2000 video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it informative and interesting. And if you want to learn more about our X series, you will find something above in the info box. Also, if you don't want to miss out any more of our product updates, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. My name is Dario Patsuna. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.